drunk man. Where's the referee? No, no referee. Wait a minute. Booker T. Booker T. What the oh. hell? Oh my God. Booker T. With a drive-by, using the championship as a weapon, nailing Austin in the back of the head. Booker T. Doesn't even work here. What's he doing here? Look at this. Booker T. Should be arrested. Now Vince McMahon hobbling around over there, surveying the situation. He's going to get the referee back in the ring. Austin looks to be wow. unconscious. It's yeah, time to win the undisputed title this way. Are you kidding me? There's a two. This cannot happen. This cannot happen. And no, no. Three. For God's sakes. I cannot believe this travesty. Look at McMahon. He's loving this. Oh, he's laughing like a pet coon. He's pet coon goofiest McMahon. He's, he's so happy. He's so happy Austin got screwed because Austin had this match won. Yeah, but JR, you got to know this Booker T showing up out of nowhere. That had to be a master plan of that man, Vince McMahon. It's all worked to perfection for him. Collusion, I say. Collusion. Jericho now a real made man. The first ever undisputed champion. After Booker T cost Stone Cold the undisputed championship at Vengeance, the Rattlesnake sought retribution, leading to some of the most unique battles in WWE history. Oh, but Booker T, oh, the scalded dog! Rattlesnake alert! Rattlesnake alert! Yeah. Austin beating the hell out of Booker T! This Rattlesnake has lost his mind, Michael! Price check on a jackass! <laughs> After nearly five years on top of the company, Stone Cold Steve Austin walked out of WWE in June of 2002. Stone Cold kept a low profile, not making any appearances on WWE programming for nearly a year. But the demand to see the rattlesnake back in a WWE ring led to his ultimate return in early 2003. Oh, I got a Stone Cold! The Hellraiser is back! Although the night was ceremonious, one familiar foe had other plans. Austin, do you remember the last two times you went one on one with the great one? And if I remember correctly, I whipped your ass not once, but twice. The one thing that The Rock has not done is whoop that bald candy ass at WrestleMania. If you want to go for three times, is that what you're saying? Oh, this is showtime here. Austin trying to stun the rock and the rock. I'm tailing it out of the ring. You're scared, ain't you? I see it, and I can damn sure feel it. The rock at WrestleMania is going to whoop that candy ass. It'll be the rock. It'll be Austin one on one at WrestleMania. My God. Is this the ending of the showcase for Stone Cold? I'm, I'm really tempted to find that out, actually, before I continue. Because this is where his last match was at WrestleMania 19. I've noticed that they've never, ever made the WrestleMania arenas, like, you know, with the big-ass ramps and whatnot. They've never made it huge like that, which I don't understand. Why not? they got to make it more realistic as they go. And I lose this match, too, but I'm playing it as well. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Miami, Florida, weighing 275 pounds, The Rock. The Rock, arguably the greatest current generation superstar in our business. His late grandfather, the High Chief, was a superstar. His father, Rocky Johnson, a tag team champion. This champion using the WWE to springboard to Hollywood stardom. But the one thing The Rock has never done, and I do believe it is eating him alive, and that is on the grandest stage of our business, that The Rock has never, ever defeated Stone Cold Steve Austin. On your right, JR. I'll have to agree with you. I think The Rock is obsessed with that now. It's his mission in life to beat the Rattlesnake at WrestleMania. Well, here we 
are, ladies and gentlemen, WrestleMania 19. Oh, this should be a classic matchup. These two superstars know each other extremely well. It could come down to whoever makes the first mistake. The one thing about this is that The Rock knows coming in, he's 0-2 against Austin in WrestleMania main events. No other athletes in WWE history have ever headlined against each other three WrestleMania main events. Well, we're about to witness it right now. This is gonna be classic. The Great One and the Rattlesnake. Once again, making history, this time in Seattle, Washington. A lot of speculation regarding uh, the help of Stone Cold Steve Austin. A lot hey, of- Hey, wait a minute. Oh, they're gonna, they're kicking it off. <laughs> they're gonna fight. Looked like Rock went for a cheap shot, and now Stone Cold Steve Austin opening up that proverbial can of whoop ass. This match starting oh. out fast and furious as Austin uh, gives the referee a little sign language. And Austin, I'll go for the stunner. Austin <laughs> quickly going for the stunner, and The Rock having to scoot outside and regroup. It got a little hot in the kitchen. Hey, wait a minute. Great one. We, we smell what Austin was cooking early. And he's gonna come and do a little more second helping here. What a clothesline on the outside. And it looks like Stone Cold Steve Austin has the early advantage. Oh, not your garden variety impact on that one. The Rock seems helpless. Moves like that can upset your opponent more than hurtful. The Rock cannot be enjoying this. Austin, this could be bad. And there's the body slam. I'm not sure I can watch this. Okay. Yeah, we better get in the ring. Eight. Unleash you get for a second time now. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Wow. <laughs> that was too easy. <laughs> oh my God. Of course, I gotta try that again. I didn't even get anywhere. I didn't even try and purposely get DQ. Good, good. Oh, now I got Irish weapon back in here. This is gonna be a useless. Holding out right to the face. Oh. Austin being pressed hard. There you go. Oh, the reversal by The Rock. No, oh, wait, nice reversal. Stone Cold sending Rock into Oh, never mind. Uh oh, telegraph that move. And downstairs, right to that patella. I thought I had to throw him history back in there. Uh, knee issues, troubles, surgeries with his knee, and the, and the Rock got that patella, better known as a kneecap. Oh, no, oh! And again, focusing on the knee is The Rock. Very strategic. He knows exactly, very precise in what he's doing. And now look at. Oh boy, oh man, this could do it for Stone Cold. Shades of WrestleMania 13, the sharpshooter that Brett the Hitman Hart used on Stone Cold as Austin was bleeding profusely, finally passing out. Austin luckily gets to the bottom rope, but I, King, I think the damage has been done here. Oh, without a doubt, and I think The Rock realizes it as well. He's like a shark smelling blood in the water. Oh, he's gonna take his time and just torture Stone Cold now. Oh, not that leg, not that knee in the post. Oh! And all, all The Rock threatening the official, but the damage, the story here is the ring post. Oh no, oh. on the knee! Again, The Rock trying to exploit the injured knee of Austin. To much uh, a speculation before the match started, and now The Rock is wearing Austin's vest, that smoking skull vest. That's just taunting. The Rock trying to electrify this huge crowd here. Whoa, wait a minute! 
Here I, comes the rattlesnake. I think that instead of electrifying, that the rock has just pissed off Austin. Oh. And Stone Cold will be thinking alike. I love you, Rock. I want to kiss you. <laughs> I'm going to damage him again. Incredible. He is just getting busted up. That's some cruel and unusual damage being perpetrated. Look at this hang time. I hate this move. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. Run. Wow. And that attack oh. was dodged. Down goes the rock. Oh, looking to put it into the incredible move by Steve Austin. Oh, look at this. Austin sending Rock into the ropes and Austin dumped. You can feel the intensity starting to mount here oh. at WrestleMania 19. Oh, the great athletic nip up by the Rock. 6'5, 270. But guess what? The Austin is up. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm surprised I wasn't a quick time event. I had to do. For the rock to get beat with his own home. The cover of the hook of the leg. Oh, oh man, Rock barely able to kick out just before the three count from a rattle bottom. Ra <laughs> rattlesnake rock bottom. That rattlesnake move, it just electrified this huge crowd here at WrestleMania. And Austin imploring the rock to get up and fight. Let's finish this here and now. Austin wanted to go 3 0 at WrestleMania against the great one. Stunner time. Oh, no. Rock catches Rock with a stunner. Ooh. Oh, my God. Rock with a stunner on Austin. First the rock bottom by Austin, and now the stunner by the rock. What a matchup. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no one gives a shit about that, but me. <laughs> With a nice reverse. Ah, I saved my stunner for that reason, see? Turns it around on him, and what a move! Incredible move by Steve Austin. Hey, this may very well be it. Oh, I almost won that. By mistake, I got the rock off the map. Got the rock off the map, Puss. pushing X next to the down. Really? Isn't that supposed to be like to like pick him up with the right anal or whatever? Oh, look at this, Austin! Oh, Austin shoving the referee out of the way! Oh my gosh, Jr. Did you see that? Not a good move by Austin. First he could have gotten disqualified, then he left himself wide open for that low blow, and The Rock has gained a decided advantage. Yeah, and he knows it. Look at The Rock, so proud of himself. The most electrifying man in sports entertainment. Still wearing that vest. Will he ever take that off, JR? All right, this is arguably the greatest rivalry ever in WWE. The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. It can't get bigger. It can't get more intense. They know each other so well. Oh, wait a minute. It looks like Rock is ready to electrify this huge crowd at WrestleMania. Look at the band the set up in the background. In all of From one biscuit. It is The Rock with the people's elbow. Here it comes. Ah! And Austin had it scouted very well. A little bit too much preening. Stunner, stunner. Nope. Oh, my gosh. The spine must be there. The spine on the pine. All of the great Arn Anderson and The Rock now. Not going to waste any time looking for the people's elbow. This time The Rock hits it. Right going to be it. No, this is gonna hey, be it. This could be it. Oh my down. God! One, two. Oh my God! Jesus H Christ! I gotta be the hype for myself because no one else will. Oh, oh I thought he was going for the rock bottom. Like and you feel it for weeks. Oh man! Don't be a bitch. I thought he might have been knocked out right there. No. Oh. 
The Rock may have Aw, oh, you fucker. And the really? Rock nails it. Yeah. Why? He's got another yeah. one. Let's push it. Like this may be it. No! Oh, it's supposed to happen. Know. Okay. I, I don't believe it, King. I don't Some, believe it. Somehow Stone Cold survives. Austin able to kick out the Rock saying, what the hell do I have to do to beat this Texas Rattlesnake? Finally, in a WrestleMania main event, the Rock poises uh -oh. for another. Oh, we've yeah. seen this. He's setting up for another rock bottom. Here it comes! Oh my God! A thunderous rock bottom. The float over. No. No. What the f- That's it! That's right, okay, so I was, I was right! Austin 316, that is the end! Oh my god, that is such bullshit! No, at the very ending, when he was going for the pin, I was just like, okay, well, it's another cutscene. And that was so quick, I'm sorry, I would have easily kicked out. But that was so bloody quick! It was just like... It was going so quick, and then I, I didn't I didn't realize I had like a little mini game to kick. To, uh, you know, it's okay. I'm gonna replay that match, and I'm gonna find out what happens if I kick out to see how that works out. Cause I mistakenly beat this too fast. <laughs> I mean, I was hoping to beat it. I didn't realize it was gonna be like this quick, but um, just give me a second here, though. So I'm at 86%. Do you smell what the rock oh, is doing? We've seen this. He's setting up for another rock bottom. Here it comes. Oh my god! A thunderous rock bottom! The float over! I fucked up again. Oh my god, this is hard. The rock poises uh -oh. for another O. Oh, we've seen this. He's setting up for another rock bottom. Here it comes! Oh my god! A thunderous rock bottom! The float over! Oh look at this! Somehow Stone Cold Steve Austin kicks out! The Rock continues to put the pressure on Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, but look at the look at the look on the Rock's face. He's a little bit confused here. He's gotta be thinking, how on earth did the rattlesnake escape that? Not many men kick out of the rock bottom. Uh oh, JR, look at this. Do you think the rock is Thinking about another rock bottom? This main event at WrestleMania 19 may end momentarily. Austin staggers up, trying to fight out of this predicament with hard elbows. The point of the elbow to the oh, no. A rock bottom! Rock bottom! A rock bottom and a hook of the bar. Oh, this has got to be it for Austin. Wait a minute, JR. Somehow Austin kicked out. I cannot believe Austin able to kick out, and neither can The Rock by the looks of his face. The Rock is in shock right now. And so are these fans. As we said, over 54,000 fans here on a beautiful day in Seattle, Washington. And The Rock hit Stone Cold Steve Austin with a perfect rock bottom. And, well, the rattlesnake kicked out. No, wait a minute, JR. Does it look like, do you think The Rock may be setting Austin up for another rock bottom? I think The Rock is obsessed. He's got to hit the rock bottom. He's got to win this match by using the rock bottom come hell or high water. Look out, Steve. Here it goes again. And now, another rock bottom? Nobody can survive this. The rock. Ah, look at the elevation. Feel the impact. The float over. Can Austin kick out? I kicked out, but this game is an ass. It was a hell of a moment. Two guys who had been through so much together, and this is time for us to separate and, and uh, go down our separate roads. And it was a real emotional, real emotional moment and a real special moment. Stone Cold Steve Austin's walk up the ramp would be his last as an in-ring competitor. There's only one Texas rattlesnake, and there'll never be another like it.
Although his time as a WWE superstar had come to an end, Austin would continue to fulfill his number one passion, entertaining the WWE Universe. Trust in me and I will never let you down. I gotta say- What? I wanna tell you- What? I wanna just say- What? You better stop that- What? In 2009, Stone Cold's legendary status was cemented as he was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. No question he is, if nothing else, the greatest WWE superstar of all time. Stone Cold Steve Austin! I want to tell each and every person here and each and every person that ever watched Stone Cold Steve Austin, it has been my pleasure and a privilege to make my living in a squared circle, 20 feet by 20 feet. I love you from the bottom of my heart. I had one hellacious ride. I had to ride off in the sunset a little bit sooner than I would have liked, but I'm the happiest son of a bitch on earth right now. Whether he's racing hell in the world of film and television, opening up cans of audio whoop-ass on his podcast, or stomping an occasional mud hole, Stone Cold Steve Austin continues to command the respect and admiration he deserves. The toughest son of a bitch in the WWE! He's the Texas Rattlesnake, one of the biggest and most influential superstars of all time. Give me a hell yeah! What? And that's the bottom line! Stunning Steve Austin versus Ricky. Oh, no, I can't go back. Stunning Steve Austin versus Ricky Steve Bart. A fight is happening at the Bash of the Beach, July 17th, 1994, in Orlando, Florida. Who will walk away as a U.S. champion? Can Ricky Steve Bart overcome Stunning Steve Austin? So, this is uh, going to be the start of the bonus matches. Let's do, let's do it. I thought I thought it was a different thing we had. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is for the United States Heavyweight Championship. It is set for one fall. The heavyweight United States Championship. I guess he gets his new theme later on. This is this is the older wrestling days, so it's different. And his opponent from Hollywood, California, weighing 253 pounds. The United States Heavyweight Champion, Stunning Steve Austin. You know, me just finishing up this sh showcase really kind of, uh, it's, it, it's kind of a bit weird to come back to the old wrestling matches. Stunning Steve, not only the former television champion and world tag team champion. What about Steamboat? His first title was the television title. And he beat Ric Flair to become the television champion years ago. Seriously, TV champion? champion? Eight times the world tag team champion and U.S. champion on many occasions. Obvious, these men are oh, oh, the most oh, decorated oh. men in our sport today. Should be a break. Austin's trying to get disqualified. If he does, he retains the title. I'm not trying to get disqualified. Austin, what are you trying to do? Self-respect. Win it outright or just go home. That's no way for a champion to act. A spectacular counter by Steve Austin. How's not trying to get disqualified? Oh, referee's down. Oh. I'm gonna try dirty pin. There's a trophy. The shoulders are down. I let him up. Relax. Steamboat, who 
expects the matches to go a long time because of his cardiovascular conditioning. I mean, you're talking about a guy that could. Well, wait, he's instantly gone. A signature. Okay, that's a sleeper hold, I guess. Wow. Okay, let's do it. Well, Austin's in great shape as well. I wouldn't hope this is a painful submission hold and used to great effect here. I keep falling with it. I almost like lost and got tapped out there. Steve Austin being pressed hard. No. Go for your finisher, please. Let me reverse it. Ah. Steve Austin frustrated. Ricky Steamboat continues to kick out and show resilience. And Austin out trying a, another approach, King. We all know about Steamboat. He's got a great heart. These two superstars know each other extremely well. Oh, my guy. God. Austin's got to go to plan B. And Steamboat bridges up both men in that good Whoa. condition. Uh-oh. And uh, not a good landing for Austin as the veteran steamboat out of Charlotte, North Carolina, creating a little distance. Oh, boy. Steve Austin should take advantage now. That kick slowed the momentum down that uh, Steamboat was about to build. Oh, what's going to go here, JR? Steamboat in a hung up on the ropes, and Austin again. Dropping that 250 pounds oh, right over Steamboat's body. <laughs> now he's mocking Steamboat. Austin taunting the veteran. I don't think Austin's going to get in Steamboat's head. Steamboat is too much of a veteran. He's been there before. And look at this, Jake. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look how counter. The stun gun. Steamboat used the stun gun. Austin's move on Austin. Maybe me black and blue after this. His strike. His. Oh, look at this. Austin's throwing Steve out in the ropes. What's he going for here, JR? Austin, the United States champion, looking for a two-stone power driver. Hey, That's it. reversed by Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. And now reversed again. Another reversal. Taking a lot out of both oh. hands. Trying to reverse. Wow. Two stones. And it's Steamboat. Oh. Locking his hands and dropping Austin on the United States champion's head. Steamboat should go for the cover, but he's, he's a little addled. Steamboat looking for something else, another piece of offense. Yeah, you're right. I think Steamboat wants to hit something big and put Austin away for good. Oh, boy. Austin shoving the referee out of the way. I didn't know better. I would think Austin's trying to get himself disqualified. I think he's done it. The referee is saying this is over. Now, wait a minute. Steamboat's, Steamboat's having a conversation with the referee. Steamboat cannot win the United States title via disqualification. The match continues. And Steamboat now with piston-like right hands on the face of the United States champion. Now look at this reversal here. Austin off the ropes, duck. Whoa, crossbody. Nice, nice crossbody roll through by Austin. Austin with a roll through, and Austin's feet. Get, get on the ropes. And ref, and ref, Austin's feet on the ropes. Steve Austin wins it. At WWF WrestleMania 12. That's, yeah, that's 12. Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Savio Vega. Vega Vega. The million dollar champ. Puerto Rican sensation. Uh, who will come out on top at WrestleMania 12, March 31st, 1986? Ah, okay, whatever, let's go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is scheduled for one fall. Coming down the aisle and accompanied by Ted DiBiase, 
weighing 252 pounds, the Million Dollar Champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'm surprised there's no cutscenes for these little bonus matches still, like whatnot. It's part of the showcase. I'm surprised there is no, you know, cutscenes for like real life of what happened. Now entering, weighing 254 pounds, Savio Vega. A very excited Savio Vega, anxiously awaiting the opportunity to even the score with Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get that trophy. I gotta dirty pin somebody. These men competed in early March of '96, and it resulted in a double countout. And you know what they say? Damn it! That's like kissing your sister. Well, I don't think kissing is on either of these two superstars' mind at the moment. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Yeah. All right, bitch, get up. Okay, dirty pin there too. Steve Austin with the offense. He's headed for the top. Heads up. Take a chance like that. Do you know how badly he must? The shoulders are down. <laughs> Strikes like that can end this one in a hurry. Looks like he's pinpointing the back. That'll rearrange your face. Yeah, come on, man. What's wrong with you? He's got to be vigilant about not taking any more damage to the neck. Really Finally. pushing his opponent to the limit here. Again? Ay, ay, ay. Damn it. One. Two. Back in the ring again. One. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Pick up. He misjudged. Oh, lights out. Oh, and another vicious blow with that object. Ooh. Wow, what a counter. Got me. Oh, I think this man means business. That's okay. I just close on him and that's it. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. Oops. Statement as we speak. Oh, look at this, JR. Austin sending the ropes and a big chop from Savio Vega. Man, WrestleMania 12 has been an amazing event here. <laughs> the million dollar belt on the outside being uh, controlled by, of course, the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase, who has taken over the managerial duties of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Hey, look out! Oh, my, the referee. Referee got it. Taken down by the big side kick when Stone Cold moved out of the way. And now look at DiBiase passing the million dollar belt. Oh no, you don't think 
You don't think the rattlesnake would do this, do you? Using, oh! Man, Austin using the Million Dollar Championship as a weapon right between the eyes of Savio Vega. And apparently, Austin's not that through. again, oh! On the back of the head. Austin driving that heavy, precious metal belt into the back of the head of Savio Vega. Well, and then got rid of the evidence. And now look at this, JR. It's the million dollar dream being applied to Vega by Stone Cold Steve Austin at all. Oh yeah, of course. Million dollar man's gonna revive the referee to get him over to stop this. Or, or. DiBiase showing no, con he acting like he cares about the referee. Right. Disingenuous. The referee finally has his wits about him. And Savio is unconscious after being struck in the head not once but twice. That's and true. now the million dollar dream. Some have called it the Cobra Clutch. That's Some it. have called it the Shinonomaki. Here's the winner, Stone Cold Steve Austin. I didn't get to use my stunner, son of a bitch. Well, you know as well as I do, it was that million dollar belt that sent Savio Vega to Dreamland. Yeah, and Austin can let go any time, ref. Any time today. Finally, Austin shoving Savio down like he was a piece of trash. And Stone Cold wins at WrestleMania 12. ECW, you know, November to remember. November 18th, 1995, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Oh my god, the extreme superstar Steve Austin versus Mikey Whipwreck. The extreme superstar. The unlikely champion. <laughs> Please do a rumble in Philly for the ECW championship. And, okay, November to remember. There was some sort of ECW one which was like. Um. Ah, uh, gosh. November to remember, or it was like some sort of like New Year's resolution. I, th I, I, I can't remember how it went. I think it was November to remember. It was something unique like that. What the hell is this arena? This is like a show house or house show. Kind of arena. Well, it's good to see Steve Austin back in wrestling tights, but I'm confused. Steve Austin just took the back door into this ECW world title matchup. That's Joey Styles on there, I believe, right? On commentary, he's actually doing this. Mikey has never been one to back down from a challenge. Oh. And he misses. And Austin. On his neck. So I don't know who the hell is Mikey Whipwreck. Is he like. Now he looks under the ring. Ooh, this seems like it's a. Uh... I don't know. If it's like a no DQ or what. Now into the ring. The overhead punch from Steve Austin. And now he has that object. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my. Eh, 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 eh. I like to do the cheating. Yeah, I don't know who this guy is. Is he like an old guy? Is he just I I, I see he's like a custom created wrestler. Austin with the big boot on Whipwreck. Steve Austin now full head of steam. And the Stevester drops the leg. Cover hook of the leg. One, two, and no. Kick out. That lame ass crap ain't gonna get it done here in ECW. Austin all over Mikey Whipwreck. Mikey up and over to the concrete floor here at the ECW Arena. Oh my God, the flip. We don't have any pretty blue mats here. I'm gonna search up this Mikey. What in the 
What? Are you okay, man? What kind of crap are you on? I'm gonna switch up uh, this uh, custom guy, Mikey, afterwards. And into the ring. Now going Let's try this again. Oh. Wow. To the face. Now looking under the ring. No. Extreme superstar is going up. Oh. He missed. And he goes down hard. And now he has that object. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my. I can't throw my uh, weapon to my opponent. That's just the bad part. I I I, really, I can't pull out the full feature of the Eddie Guerrero lie cheating and steals. And the reversal. Ah. The reversal. I'm dead. Mikey Whipwreck. And he misses. Wait, what? What's what what? The hell? So how I, I screwed up his signature. Reversal from Steve Austin. Oh. Now with the submission, and he releases it. And the extreme superstar. Austin whips Mike into the corner, and there it is, the stun gun. That's Austin's patented finishing move to and no! Mikey Whipwreck kicks out! And Austin can't believe it! He is stunned! And now Austin working over Mikey Whipwreck in the corner. Chops are on the menu here tonight in Philadelphia. And Mikey Whipwreck can barely stand. Mikey set for the ride, Austin ducks his head, sunset flip by Mikey, sunset flip, Mikey's got a hold of the tights, we've got a moon over Philadelphia, he got him, Jesus Christ, Mikey got Austin, Mikey Whipwreck just pinned Steve Austin, and Austin nearly takes Mikey Whipwreck's head off, how humiliating for Steve Austin, who thought he was going to have a cakewalk, to winning his first World Heavyweight Championship. And just like he always does, Mikey Whipwreck makes a miracle happen. Well, officially, Mikey is the winner, but he may not feel like one by the time Austin is done with it. Clash of the Champions, November 10th, 1993, St. Peter or something. Stunning Steve Austin versus Brian Pillman. I think I've heard of this guy. Best friends, really. Bitter and oh, bitter enemies. The Hollywood Blondes implode. Wasn't this guy like, didn't he do some sort of suicide or something like that? Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest, it is set for one fall. Introducing first, being led to the ring by Colonel Rob Parker from Hollywood, California. Weighing 253 pounds, stunning Steve Austin. You get ready to get him. You go on and get him. Don't worry. Who the hell is that guy? And here they go, Austin and Pillman. One on one. Their relationship has imploded. Pillman, a volatile, competitive athlete. And I look at Colonel Parker, Tony Pillman. And wait, uh oh, look out, look oh, out, look out, look out, look out. Oh my God. Parker led Pillman right into the trap. Pretty smart move by stunning Steve Austin. All right, boss, how I got in my way. He wants this battle decided inside the ring. I like it. 
He's getting this done inside the ring. Well, that's it. Whoa. Cracks him. <laughs> what the hell is that? The referee just does like an. I swear. He did some sort of like ninja kick up, pop up, or something. And just as he gets up, I, I, I saw it. I was like, gonna stop that. It was almost. It was basically too late because as he's up, I'm hitting square. I'm just like, fuck. What the hell, man? Yeah, of course I got it. I got caught cheating. I'm sure you'll get over it, King. Oh! Nice I want to see if I can hit the ref. You know, yeah, one, one, one more time, one more time. I want to see if I can do this. This breaks my heart to watch the Hollywood Blondes, a great tag team combo. <laughs> <laughs> the referee didn't see it, so I figured I can get away with it. Take him, because I do that. Oh. I, I have to like run into him and knock him down because they consider it as oh that's just a mistake you know wink wink they don't you know chair shot direct is you know ah oh, no I cross the line but okay the chair well that's it what a debilitating smash with that chair let me get my time in the back. <laughs> I think I did enough. No, you're not taking my chair. I'll do it for you. And he's headed back in. Hi. You know they say familiar with this. Man, what a rivalry. Oh. And oh, Brian Brian, nice counter. Nice counter there. Well, look out JR incoming. Oh, come on. Colonel Parker. Are you serious? You gotta give a big assist. Oh no, Tillman. Yeah, look out, Tillman taking Austin down, and now he's going after Colonel Parker. And Parker running like a scalded dog, hooking up with Austin, getting the hell out of here. Not yet have I hit a stunner in any of those matches. I'm kind of disappointed.